Whoa, I just said it in my other video about Campi Fligri. I think there's something more to come. There could be something bigger. And boof, 2.2, 3.2. But guys, this is another of how they call it, burst-like seismic swarm. And they indicate increasing unrest. The scientists have warned. And they said, I said it. It's kind of strange that in the last monthly bulletin, we saw less volcanic emissions, a little bit less or significant less. So are there some vents blocked? Because that would, could mean that we see an increased, an increased pressure buildup at the Campi Flegri supervolcano in Italy, in Naples with more than 6 million people. And now basically since June 18th, we've had a continuous rattling of earthquakes with higher ranges, but now it's increasing in just an hour or so. It's absolutely crazy because I just released another video to you guys about Campi Fligri. And while I was editing the video, while I was uploading the video, I was staring at the live earthquake map and there was nothing. So I released the video to you guys because it is about that all over sudden, after 40 years of refusing to do so, bang, they're starting to build a new evacuation route for Pozzoli. And I was wondering, why is that? Do they know something? And then shortly after this earthquake swarm starts. Before I show you all the earthquakes, let's start with the magnitude 3.2. Location is no surprise, Pozzuoli Solfatara, where we have the most epicenters. And look at the population density. In this map, you see the epicenter of the earthquake. And the, the darker it is, the more population we do have. And unfortunately, the whole supervolcano is a highly densely populated area because it doesn't look like a volcano like Vesuvius that is dominating the view of Naples. It's visible everywhere. Nope, Campi Flegri looked like a rolling hill country, super, super fertile. So people were settling there. But why did they settle? Because it's volcanic soil that is after a long time super super fertile and some people say it's criminal that it was allowed that people would build there because now they're highly highly at risk and I've released all the studies if you haven't seen them I have a playlist about Campi Fligri on my channel scientists are warning we could see imminently a phreatic eruption and that could pave the way for something bigger it is possible seasoned scientists are warning. So let's have a look at the live list with the earthquakes here. So you see the recent one, and I'll update this list while I edit the video, but let's start with the 19th. We already had quite a few earthquakes there. And then on the 21st, it starts with 1.9, 1.7, 1.3, 1 1.0. And then in a short period of time, 4.55, it starts with 2.2. This is at night again. So it's rattling people in their sleep again. And I bet you they're running on the streets again like they did so many times in the last few years because they worry that their homes might collapse on them. Not only that the volcano might erupt. The homes are so brittle. The experts, a seasoned engineer said, What's holding most of these homes together is just that they're leaning against each other. The grout between the bricks, stones, it's stone homes, is like dust. And we've seen it in one of the four point something earthquakes, the ceiling collapsed, the dust was everywhere. So this is a big concern. So people are running on the street and I bet you they're out right now. So 4.55, 2.2, 5 o'clock, just five minutes later, 3.2. And they always come with a big roar with a sound as well. So I think if they weren't on the street with the 2.2, the 3.2 definitely brought them out. And then just 27 seconds later, another 2.2. It's absolutely crazy. And then a minute and a half or so, or two minutes later, 1.0. 20 seconds later, 1.0. And then a few minutes later, a 1.5. That's it so far while I'm making this video. So what is going on 
where is this pressure build up coming from the recent bulletin has released the land is still rising that brady seism with 1.5 centimeters per month and brady seism means the land is rising something's filling up underneath something wants to come to the surface and nothing is changing the trend that we do have an acceleration in volcanic sulfur gas emissions at Campi Flegri. There was just in the last measurements a decrease. That's why if something's clogged, that could be bad, absolutely bad. We know that Campi Flegri had a massive eruption 40,000 years ago. So of course, we're asking the question constantly, could a super massive volcanic eruption happen soon? Then there was another massive eruption 109,000 years ago. And now we have over 500,000 people living basically on the volcano. And we have this uptick in seismic activity. It just doesn't stop. What we do know is that the Campi Flegri caldera has been stirring for the last 75 years. The last time there was an eruption, Monte Nuovo, that's a more visible crater was created in 1538. And according to historical records, the activity leading up to the eruption, the rapid ground uplifting is similar to the activity that we're seeing today. This is what is so worrying. Still, the 1538 eruption, Although it created this new mountain, Monte Nuovo, was relatively small compared to the massive eruptions in the past. So the 1538 eruption on the VEI scale was rated a 3, while the one 109,000 years ago, the Madaloni, how they call it, was rated at a 7. So while there is no way to predict if or when there will be a volcanic eruption, it's likely that for now, hopefully we won't see a massive eruption. But what the scientists unite right now is that we could see a phreatic eruption. And Monte Nuovo, it started with a phreatic eruption that opened an underground tunnel system for a larger magmatic eruption. Campi Flegre, therefore, is one of the most studied region, volcanic regions in the world. And I'm reporting about all these studies to you. Check out my playlist. And it gets more concerning from study to study. But there is still so much that people don't know about it and have to learn. They have just done high resolution seismic imaging and rock physics experiments at Campi Flegri on samples from the calderas, very, very deep wells to reconstruct an image of the internal structure. And from these images, the team has pinpointed three key structures that work basically in tandem in controlling the distribution of micro seismicity and ground deformation. So there is this protective caprock layer, a fibrous caprock layer that is just below the surface. And under that caprock layer, we have a gas enriched reservoir and that slowly builds up pressure as liquids accumulate. And that pressure is building up and building up and building up until it's too much and it will release. Then on the bottom, we have the dense stable basement with has a carbon rich formation that basically dips towards the center of the volcanic system. We have been hearing it for a while. Scientists warn of one of the world's super volcanoes awakening and they say it will plunge the planet into chaos. Should that happen? It will. I have just made a video about what will happen. So check this out. It's also in my playlist. Experts are confirming the eruptions are usually preceded with the increase in earthquake activity because the underground pressure is building up. But we never know with all these swarms, is this it or is this not it? So these small quakes are definitely weakening the caprock layer above the volcano's magma chamber. So it makes it much easier for the magma to push through. It's like steam building up in a pressure cooker. If the lid gets too weak, it's going to blow. Also, the sharp 
increase in gases that is coming from the volcano, another warning sign. Adding to the alarm, carbon dioxide emissions have surged daily levels between 4,000 and 5,000 tons. Experts say increased gas emission is often combined with magma. It means that magma is moving closer to the surface, putting more pressure on the volcano. Studies confirm magma is now just a few miles below the surface a shallow depth that raises concern and the pressure continues to build. It could trigger an eruption with little or to no warning. These phreatic eruptions usually come with no warning and they came with no warning in the past, especially with all the recent earthquakes and gas releases. Christopher Kilborn, he's a leading volcanologist of the INGV that surveils this thing every day. He says distinguishing between gas emissions caused by magma movement versus those resulting from natural rock interactions is absolutely critical. Campi Flegri poses a serious threat to over 6 million people living in the metropolitan area of Naples. If it erupts, the damage could be widespread. Buildings could be destroyed by lava flows, ash clouds, fast moving, hot gases, and of course, not only buildings, guys. We know all these people that live there. Roads, power, water supplies might be cut off, making life dangerous and chaotic, making an evacuation impossible if there's no warning time. The city of Naples, and especially the nearby town of Pozzoli, where we see all these epicenters, sits close or on top of Campi Flegri, putting many lives and homes in the danger zone. I don't care about the homes, I care about the lives. Of course, it's terrible if your home is destroyed, but the lives are so much more important, these beautiful people. And the, 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 the danger is, a study now proves, a recent study, 80% guys of the carbon dioxide that is released from the Solfatara crater, you see that crater here behind me, comes directly from magma beneath the Earth's surface, not from anything else, magma. That means the magma is letting out gas. Is that good or bad? It is a strong sign that it might be moving closer to the surface. The other 20% of the gas comes from fluids that are reacting with underground rocks. That's a natural process that doesn't always mean an eruption is coming. But scientists watch these gas releases along with the land rise and the thousands of small earthquakes. The list that I'm showing you here, what's happening, is only above one. We probably have way more micro seismic earthquakes. So these earthquakes, the volcano is giving us a warning sign for future eruptions. When? That's the big question. When magma moves up, it pushes gases out building pressure inside the volcano. That we know about volcanoes. Too much pressure can cause cracks and trigger a dangerous eruption. We have a very weak caprock layer with points of instability. You have probably seen my recent reports about the recent studies. In Campi Flegri, guys, it means translated burning fields. The name comes from something. It's a big huge volcanic crater that was formed by eruptions, by a massive eruption, the Companion Ignimbrite, thousands of years ago. It made the ground above the magma chamber collapse. In recent decades, the volcano has really shown significant signs of unrest. Scientists say it's not possible to predict exactly when the next eruption will happen, but, guys, here's the but. They're saying the recent activity means it could come sooner rather than later. Since 2005, the ground in the area has been slowly rising and showing this Brady size in this process. Magma is rising up and it's pushing the surface up. The nearby town of Pozzuoli, ground has risen about five feet only during the current phase of unrest. The Earth's surface is gently swelling like a balloon as magma pushes it up from below. 
And they studied how the rock beneath Campi Fligri is responding to stress, that cap rock layer. They have used a mechanical failure model because of that cap rock layer fails Shizzy sitting the fizzy. This is commonly applied in structural engineering. They, they studied how this rock is responding to stress. And their findings suggest the crust is shifting from simply bending to cracking. And that is a change that often precedes eruptions. This is what science know. They're saying, quote, we're seeing a clear progression towards a state where a rupture is more likely. Rising warning signs began in 2005. Officials have raised the volcano's alert level from green to yellow in 2012, but they're kind of hesitant to do more. There's tourism, there's property values. There's rumors that the INGV, the Italian Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, they're surveilling Campi Fligri and also Vesuvius. They're basically right there at Campi Fligri. They're looking for a new place because they're saying in case of emergency, they're affected. They're surveilling everything. Their warning systems is affected. That's kind of scary. That tells you if they are worried, they're the ones that are surveilling this. They're the ones that in public are saying as an institution, yeah, that is all normal, don't worry. But their single scientists out of speaking for the institutions are saying, we're not prepared evacuation plans won't work, we could see an eruption. If an eruption happened there, the threat would not just be local. When we had that Monte Nuovo creation, Campi Flegri erupted with such a force that it caused one of the worst volcanic disasters in Earth history, triggering major changes in global climate. That's where the I wonder what a medium eruption means for Campi Fligri. If a similar eruption happened today, its impact would reach far beyond Italy. Ash clouds could blanket much of Europe, grounding flights, damaging crops, and cutting power. Volcanic gases could block sunlight, causing years of cooler temperatures and unpredictable weather that would threaten food supplies worldwide could cause a volcanic winter. Check out my video that I made about this with very, very detailed explanation. So guys, I'll keep you updated. This earthquake swarm is ongoing. So subscribe so and click the notification bell so that you're notified if something happens. In the meantime, the world is crazy with landslides. Check out the video here in the end screen or go to my channel start page, click on videos, click on recent crazy stuff going on. If you want to support the channel, guys, link is in the description. You can buy me a coffee and I will answer you with a 30 seconds video message. So thanks so much for doing this. Click the join button to become a channel member for behind the scenes and private stuff. And also thank you for the supers. You're supporting this channel. This channel is here because of you. Thank you. Stay safe.